Joshua here with Wanderfoot. We were with Steve Turnbull at the Turnbull Gallery and Studio. And tell us a little bit about this place, Steve. Welcome to Turnbull Studios. Uh, this is an amazing place where we live and spend our life and work and it's just a great place to be and, and create. And let's see, we're on the north shore of Maui. Yeah, what is this area called? Uh, we call this area Kahakaloa. It's, uh, Kahakaloa is a little Hawaiian village that's just down the road. And uh, we're sitting up on the cliffs about 900 feet above the water. Sculpture behind us, uh, Dance of the Soul is what I call it. Dance of the Soul. And did you say you found this piece of wood on the beach? Yeah, uh, it was on a Seattle beach. I was out uh, beachcombing for driftwood and, and I found it. And you found <laughs> it. And you said you had a, had a friend that had a... Had a friend that had a friend that had a, a big tow truck. And uh, we were lucky enough to have it close enough to a, to a road to be able to get the truck down and, and winch it up and drive it away. And so you said you find a lot of the wood, and then you typically start with a chainsaw? I start with a chainsaw, and um, at the beginning I'm cleaning up the piece of wood, getting down to the getting down to the heartwood is what we call it. And so that's just taking off the softer outer layers. When you first come across a piece of wood, what inspires you? What's kind of your design process? So from the beginning I'm looking for shapes that have some interest to me and, and what that means it's maybe something with a with a twist in it or something with a some nice flow um, other than just a straight log so if, if there's something that nature can give me to, to start getting the process going it's a it's a, fa a fabulous head start and, and the beginning of a good collaboration so nature kind of leads the way you don't nature leads the way um, the wood, the wood really tells me what to do. Um, so I, I, I listen very carefully and, and I, I just know where to go when it's time to go. And after I do that, then another phase comes that I know what to do. And it's mm -hmm. just one thing building on the other. Mm -hmm. And then when my eyes can move through the whole piece, all the way around it, all the way through it, and never stop, I know I've got a good design. And so here at the gallery, you guys have around 30 different local artists. Is that, is that we right? We, yeah, we represent uh, around 30 Maui artists. Um, so we're able to, to let them stay in their studios and create, and we're helping them sell their work. Okay. So people can come to one place and see a, a wide range of work from sculptures to paintings to jewelry to pottery um, we, we try to have something for everybody and you first got started you said it was an uncle of yours my uncle was my teacher uh -huh. I, I came here um, from Seattle um, when I was a young man a younger man <laughs> between high school and college and I spent the summer and, and interned with him. Once I got my degree I, I filed it in a drawer somewhere and then uh, came right back here and started carving more. To, to know that I could do something I love and, and maybe be able to put food on the table at the same time. And, uh, it's grown into what you see today. You just gotta stick with it and believe in it and, and it always it always comes around. Well, thank you so much for spending some time with us. And if anybody who sees this is on the on the island of Maui, please come check out Turnbull Gallery. It's an awesome place and you might have the opportunity to see Steve working on some, some pieces out in the yard. So, aloha. Thank you so much, Steve. Aloha. <laughs>